hi guys i'm back with another video this video is very what's the word i'm looking for it's important to me because i have been through a lot of things and i've spoken before see i'm rocking back and forth because i get really anxious sometimes but i've spoken before about um how vulnerability is power and you know what i just see so many people getting into similar 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 situations that i've been in and i just think like i hate to see it i hate to see the the outcomes because i know what the outcome will be like you can talk to someone so much but sometimes people have to um feel before they learn and it really breaks my heart so this video i don't want to say it's a one video but it's like i'm gonna share my story my journey my whatever you want to call it, I'm going to share it as it is Tanisha's Chronicles and I hope it helps someone or like opens someone's eyes but um, I think it's just important, it's just so important to be content being single I feel like having that relationship with yourself and with God before you even look at another person is just it's amazing, like it's taken me so long to say it's amazing what it is like learning getting to know god daily seeing you know i don't know how to explain it's just that amazing like engaging with the holy spirit learning new things about yourself about the world about people around you about god himself like oh my gosh like listening for god is just i'm not saying you can't do these things in a relationship but i feel like it's important to be able to do that outside so that when you get into one, it's like you can do it together because you're supposed to complement each other. And this is where my problem lies. I feel like people forget <coughs> that in a relationship, no, I don't have coronavirus. That in a relationship, you're supposed to complement each other. Not one person adds to your value. And um, I remember yesterday was International Women's Day and I really wanted to post a video yesterday, but life was a bit mad over the weekend so um i'm just doing this today and i was like you know what um people need to stop shoving this rhetoric down women's throats that no matter how successful you are well not the words no matter how much you might have no matter if you have your own house business you're you're doing good for yourself you even know the lord people will still come and say you're not successful simply because you don't have a husband and you don't have a child and it's just like really it really gets under my skin because when you see the effects of women that adopt these this mindset and the relationships that they end up in and the outcome of the outcome of the relationships that they end up in it's just so sad to watch like <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this video is also influenced by Real Hazards of Atlanta. Um, when I watch people like Kenya and Portia, and so much, especially Kenya, like being dogged at for not having a child and not having a husband, she finally gets one. The husband don't appreciate her. He's clearly emotionally abusive. He's, oh, it's just mad. And she just stays there because, as she keeps saying, I just want my fairy tale. I just want my fairy tale. And it's just so sad to watch because it's not a fairy tale at all. In fact, it's the complete opposite. It's actually hell on earth. It's like when you watch the way he treats her, it's disgusting. And even people around me, I've seen it. And um, it just breaks my heart. So I just really want people to understand that you really just need to be content if your boaz has to come he will come if you're and if you're a boy watching this if your wife's gonna come she will come like just relax get to know yourself get to know the lord get just do stuff you enjoy it's not it's not even everyday relationship bro just enjoy life for what life is i'm not saying it's wrong to have a relationship because we do catch feelings. We do see someone we like and go, oh, is that you? Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like that. But, um, so let me actually get into the story because I don't remember it that much. But my brain is a bit, so I'm using my old home. So, um, as I was saying, like, I just find it mad that people actually think that I can't, that I 
that someone doesn't have value, someone can't be appreciated or whatever, whatever. When I mean, God has already said that I am, God has told me I'm made in his image. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. He has plans for me. But yet that somehow becomes redundant because someone does not have a man. Please make it make sense. And it's just like, um, I just decided that I can't build my worth and happiness on something temporary. A mere mortal human when... The, there's even that story in the Bible that talks about the wise man that built his ha house upon the rock meaning that I need to build my foundations and myself and my life upon something more stable someone immortal someone who knows me more than I know myself and the only person that is is God if I don't have a relationship with God why am I even looking for man yet please tell me so yeah um so um so i don't even know how long it's been what for so long not right now but like let's say it's been a year in it so before 2019 like halfway through 2019 before that um i'd always 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 desired a boyfriend and a husband and a house and children and not not a pet actually a pet rabbit and you know i was just to tell people i would i remember when i told aunties that with eight children they look at me like eight and i'd be like yeah all boys and <laughs> she, it was just like oh okay but um and it was literally like this whole fantasy as as can you say my whole fairy tale like forget the job forget anything else um i even said i'd be a housewife i'd be all of that it was just mad and um so this led to me if i remember in secondary school um no one even come at me this is my truth i was the ugly friend please i am gonna post pictures while well, like in secondary school but i was the ugly friend and i remember my boys always being like oh is that your friend yeah so what like, can i get her pin because obviously it was bbm back in them days oh and you know that like, when you push your friend as like your dp oh he's that in your dp da, 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 da. and i'm just thinking well when i was my dp no one was doing this so <laughs> i took um to new measures and new heights without going into too much detail um i was doing a madness <laughs> i was gonna lie to no one i was going to get to my morals my principles my values merely for male attention more time i was like what when did pin like bb's drop like what yeah eight yeah nine so i was like what 13 14 uh allow it doing the most and when i finally got attention it was like a false sense of security like oh i'm pretty now oh my looks hadn't changed from yesterday please oh but i don't know what happened like i can't i can't even explain it was like i still felt ugly but i felt beautiful at the same time but for the wrong reasons and then um as i grew older it just got worse like my insecurity is deepened but that false sense of um oh girl that false sense of um oh, I'm just gonna leave it I'll give up that whole sense of beauty and appreciation was there so it was like i would just ignore whatever um and then as i said as i got even older i went off to university this time there's no dad or mom to tell me no you're not going out to link this one no you're not going there you're not i was in places i was going oh please forgive me if you watch this i was going clubbing i was doing all sorts mate i was linking boys i had no business linking i was chatting to boys i had no business chatting to like they were they were clearly nonsense youths you know only out for one thing yeah i was like you know them girls that think they can change a guy i was that girl actually sad thinking about it like i was actually that girl like oh yeah i know he wants this yeah but but i can change him i can make him fall in love with me oh my gosh if i just do everything he asks no stop please no if a guy wants you he will show you the energy please 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 stop doing things for these men like please just honestly like i've been there i've done that I bought the t-shirt and I've burnt it because I'm done. So, um, and then it was just mad, like, you know the ones, I'm getting upset about but men that ain't even mine, like, you go through the talking stage, you link, you do whatever, and then you never hear from them again, and you're like, oh, wow, 
mad you get kind to your friends this one was a waste man men are trash duh, duh, duh. all your friends are doing yeah man yeah man we don't like men out here duh, 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 duh. and you're just like honestly i hate men two weeks go by ask oh, what you saying for we did and you're like yeah yeah it was actually tragic <laughs> oh my gosh was this actually my life this was my life in uni um very right man i was reading a whole lot of degree like i had books to face I mean, I graduated, so clearly I faced my books at one point, but, mate, it was just mad. And then, um, so after the first year, I got into a relationship. That one was emotionally abusive, but I stayed. Do you know what? That's a story for another day, we're going to talk about that one. That one's too triggering right now. But, um, yeah, so that was the mad relationship. And then second year came, and I think this is where I was really hit. Like, I... Uh -huh. So, I went to the doctor because I was having, like, pains in my stomach. And she was like, so I had to have, like, a scan thing. And they are like, oh, we're going to send you to the gynecologist. And I was like, what? Because the woman came with her. Imagine, she had to Google. Go, go on. Go what are GPs for? She had to Google what was wrong with me. And she was like, yeah, you're going to have to send you to the gynecologist so she can explain. And I was just thinking, this is what people pay tax for. But anywho. So, I went to the gynecologist. And they were like, so long story short, it was, at first it was like, oh no, nah. like, I remember researching myself and I was like, you can't have children, and I was just like, li literally, and I just remember I, I had to hold, hold it until I walked out of the hospital, I remember just calling my dad and crying like, oh my gosh, I can't have children, and literally when I got home, you know when you're just by yourself with your thoughts, and you're just thinking, bruh. Which man is going to love a girl that cannot reproduce? That was the first thing that went from my head. It wasn't even, oh, I have a new illness to deal with. It wasn't even, oh, this pain in my in my stomach. It was nothing of the sort. It was literally, no one will love me. My fa fairy tale is ruined. I have nothing going for me. Life is finished. What's the point in carrying on? It's like, I was... It's like I was really living for males, and it was just horrible. It was it was really horrible, and um, then I found out oh I can have children, but it would just be a little more difficult. Like, what's the word? Miscarriage? Yeah, miscarriages are just more um. Wow, well, I'm being really vulnerable on this. Miscarriages are just um, more more. I'm more susceptible to having miscarriages. And then they're like, but there's an operation that you can have. And I was like, oh, yay. So then I was like, oh, my gosh, yeah. But then I was like, I actually have to explain this to somebody. Rah. So I'm crying again, like, oh, my gosh, imagine telling them and this. They're still not going to want me. And it was just like, oh, love it. Then a year's gone past. I passed second year, whatever, whatever. Go into another relationship. <laughs> oh, why, why? This one, yeah. <laughs> if you know you know that's what i have to say but i was hurt i was really hurt like i was hurt because i remember at the beginning of the year that um, i went to this shit i remember praying to god for a boyfriend and forgetting the devil hears our prayers too and i ain't trying to bad mouth this guy yet because he's actually a nice person but everything just went left and it's the fact that through this whole um, relationship i knew it was gonna go left i had anxiety to the point where i wasn't eating I was sleeping properly, I was having nightmares. Everyone was like, no, don't worry, it's just anxiety. But really and truly, it was my gut telling me to S out. But I wasn't S out. I may not have seen exactly how it would pan out, but I knew it was going to go left. And sure, slowly but surely, it went left. And it went left twice because, like an idiot, I ran back when he came back. <laughs> please, please. I swear, man, them really love to bow your line when you're doing well. It's like, oh, so you didn't be, you're right, you're right move leave me alone do not go back ladies do not don't fall for that i miss you text don't do it i've done it and it flopped don't do it and here yeah, it's mad because i feel like it took me getting seriously hurt to finally wake up and realize my life cannot revolve around this my life cannot keep revolving around men because i'm going to keep breaking down and if i do not find god and find peace any relationship i get in will always be rocky it will because 
it's not going to be built on a firm foundation and i told myself listen let me give myself some time let me relax let me grow closer to god and i did it's even and it's mad because during that mad relationship i found myself growing closer to god i was fasting i was praying it's almost like the pain made me depend on god and so even when the relationship ended as hurt as i was i still was i still had my relationship with god and i think that's what eased it a bit because i was able to pray about it i was able to just sit and talk to god about it cry about it with him and feel that comfort and from the holy spirit like it was mad and then um getting closer to god has just been crazy like you know you have revelations about yourself i've been learning new things about myself through journaling prayer journaling and bible study i've been listening up for the holy spirit i've been learning more about god's character and how i reflect that and if i reflect that and what i need to do to reflect that and um, i've been building my relationship with god i've been going out meeting new people trying new things it's actually so crazy like things um small things that i never thought i'd do i've done like even this channel this channel was on the back of my breakup do you know what i mean like it's mad um for a girl that is so insecure about her looks to come and sit down in front of a camera and talk like this once and tell you lot about my life it's crazy and i just think to myself i didn't have to go through all that pain to get to the point oh, i'm trying not to cry to get to the point where i am now because um i had a friend around me that would always tell me now you can't keep doing this but as i said in the beginning if i said that it's easier for people to um feel before they actually take heed of what they're supposed to do and it was i'm not gonna lie it was so hard like there were parts where i even hated men i didn't let men touch me wouldn't even talk to them because there were other mad things going on um during that time as well and it was just like <laughs> no if you're a man don't chat to me i hate you da, 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 da. um it was it was just a crazy period and i just i just want to take the time to tell all the women and the men to be honest because i feel like men go through this too please like don't let your life revolve around getting into a relationship and even if you are in that relationship please understand that that person doesn't isn't where your value lies your value lies in the lord you are your own person that person is just there to compliment you you are amazing you are desired you are loved you are fearfully and wonderfully made i just I cannot stress this enough um if you feel like a person is not appreciating you enough is even abusing you emotionally is being or physically even please get out or if it's just minor things like just talk to them let them know because i think that was one of the things for me like i always felt like i was being too much in my past relationship so i wouldn't talk i, I talked to other people when it came to him i was just like mm -hmm. let me shut my mouth because i don't want to be overbearing like but i feel sometimes i feel like i do come off as overbearing but i've learned that that's just me in it like it's bad but i don't think i'm too much of a person i just feel like I just have a lot to give and if God so desires that someone will appreciate that I have a lot to give one day then so be it if he doesn't then so be it I'm literally at the point now where I don't even get sexual urges like that I don't get anything like I am literally just focused maybe not on my uni work as I should be but on myself on God on growing like I've met such a wonderful church family and only god could have led me to that i've um i don't even know what else i've done but you know what there's a lot there's a lot that has come out of this and i am grateful for my journey because if it wasn't for my journey and the ups and downs i wouldn't be where i am but i just don't want everyone to have to go through <laughs> stuff like that like being in a mission abusive relationship being mistreated everything like i don't want anyone to have to go through that and i know because of sin people will but if you're watching this video please 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 love yourself love the lord and you know what um oh, i don't even know what to say i'm actually emotional you know i'm just gonna cut the video thank you for watching um i really hope you take heed to my words and 
I love each and every one of you that continue to support me. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is the most awkward video ending. It's because it was just so deep. But yeah. So see you guys next time in my new. Hmm? What? See you guys next time in my next video. Bye guys.